Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Friday, July the 8th, 2016. Although this was a short trading week because Monday was a holiday being the 4th of July, as you can see, uh, sparks did fly today, majorly on Wall Street, after some major, major shenanigans this morning, just ahead of the 8.30 a.m. jobs numbers. Approximately five minutes before the numbers came out, you saw this. You're looking at a chart of SLV, ticker symbol. This is the silver ETF. In pre-market trading, you see that this market, starting at the 8 o'clock hour, started to trend down just a little bit slightly. Five minutes before the report comes out, the market spikes down. It drops from 1874 all the way down to 1830. All right, five minutes before the numbers come out. After the numbers come out, the market recovers, instantaneously recovering, and skyrockets from 1830 to 1909. 1830 drop to 1909. Again, we drop from 1874 to 1830, then rally from 1830 to 1909. This is pre-market. This is before the 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Wall Street open. The job number comes out at 8.30. Here we are. Then the markets take off after the announcement and we had an all-day up day. Market never looked back. Market finally closed at, uh, let's see here, we are, we closed at $19.22. And then in the after hours, the market boogies and gets all the way up to the 1932 handle. All right. So I rallied an extra 10 cents in, in after hours. Incredible price action, to say the least. Someone wanted to get in in the metals at a cheaper price. Someone was kicking themselves because they felt they missed the boat on the initial upward thrust. They ignored my videos, obviously, and missed the boat, and they wanted in. And so they beat down the price so that they can have a chance to get in. Let's see how bad the institutional player wanted to get in. Well, looking at the daily chart, as you can see, this market rallied up to 1924. Market gets crushed yesterday, only to recover and take off today. So anyone missing the initial thrust takeoff got a second chance to get in today, thanks to the banking systems that pushed the market lower. At one point, gold was down over $30 instantaneously. Then it recovers and rallies. <laughs> incredible price action, or should I say, incredible manipulative market behavior action. Moving forward, looking at the ticker symbol GLD, pretty much the same story. All right, this market rockets higher. All right, finishing out at 130.52. Look at the serious damage on the intraday chart. Look at this. It ran it up, slammed it down, and then ran it up again. So let's take a look at what happened on this one. This one managed to go from $130.10 down to $127.47. <laughs> Almost a $3 drop. Then shoots up from 
up to 130.82. Unbelievable. Manipulative price action. Okay, notice how in the Dow you had a different chart. As you can see here, when the news came out five minutes before the news, the Dow just shot up. It shot up from 17,863 all the way to 17,957. So you had a hundred point run, and then the rest of the day, it never looked back and went back above 18,000. Hasn't been there in quite a while. As you can see, the manipulation was across the board. But that's not all. That's not all that happened today. Here's what was happening while the Dow was rallying and while the metals was being smashed down. Here's what else happened. A miraculous thing happened today. Something that's not supposed to happen. The longer end of the yield curve went bananas. And look at this. Here we are. Look, look, look what your look what your ten year did, and your thirty year did. Uh, what's this right here? Positive. Very interesting. Bonds went positive after falling all the way down to here. We go to here. Very, very, very interesting, miraculous price action. Bonds are not supposed to be positive if the stock market is positive. We have the dollar positive, the stock market positive, and the bonds go positive all at the exact same time. Isn't this interesting? Something that is not supposed to happen. Just like it's not normal for your heart just to stop beating for an hour every let's say every now and again ah uh, that, that will happen it, it, it happens hey once a month hey your heart will stop for an hour you'll restart nothing nothing big about it don't worry about it no this is miraculous and it's never supposed to happen it's not supposed to even be possible to happen but yet it's happening Something else happening simultaneously is all this good, wonderful, jobless data news finally comes out. Then what do we get? All of a sudden, we got that quick little blurb. This is quick as you saw it there. Well, it was gone. Just like that in the news. That little news flash blurb. If you didn't catch it, I'll put it up again for you just that quick just like that this story comes up on Bloomberg live from Washington DC breaking news US Capitol on lockdown police searching for individual Associated Press didn't hear another word about that the rest of the day it only came up a flash just like you see here and then before you know it it was gone just as soon as it came up, gone. Normally, in the past, that is enough to rattle markets to death, drop the Dow down a good four or five hundred points. Nope. Ignored it. Totally ignored the news. Why do you think that is? Is it because that we had a false flag incident last night in Dallas? Did that have anything to do with it? Okay. Fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not already done so, I highly, 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 highly encourage you to go back, set some time, and go and listen to the prior broadcast that I had with Charlie McGrath. Yes, the late, great Charlie McGrath. I wish now, in hindsight, that I would have recorded our conversations that we had in between the broadcast doing the um the commercial breaks and whatnot because we had some some pretty amazing conversations but do yourself a favor and go back and listen to that playlist 
that uh, the link should be at the bottom of this video if not just go to my channel and uh, you'll see it you'll see it there it's it's the the wide awake news playlist I think it's WAN W A N just look at that and go and listen to it and listen to those uh, broadcasts there's only a few there um, maybe 10 but you, you need to do yourself a favor and listen to those broadcasts those broadcasts were, rec were recorded years ago and the things that we talked about then are happening today they're happening right now before our eyes so there is nothing new under the sun all this stuff is pre-planned and another thing you need to do maybe over the weekend set aside some time if you haven't already done so I highly suggest that you go and, and uh, check out the, the documentary um, there is no collapse uh, the link is in my playlist also do your faith yourself a favor and peep that you need to listen to it in its entirety because you're gonna need it you're gonna need it for the new documentary that I'm working on that is coming out I'll be uh, dropping that here um, in a few days and all I can tell you is this things are not what they seem and what they appear to be do not be fooled in the media with all these lies they're trying to start a civil war they want to divide and conquer the reason they want to divide and conquer is because the country as you know it is gone the United States of America has handed over its sovereignty to the UN it did so a long time ago and now they're preparing for the UN to come in and take over that's why you've been seeing what you've been seeing with the whole brexit it's not about Britain leaving the Europe and breaking up the European Union no 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 it's about the bigger picture do you not understand do you not know that the European Union is going to be the most powerful entity in these last days do you not know that the UN is going to be the global governing body in these last days are you not aware of that are you not aware of that every bit of news that you get in the mainstream media is tailored to an agenda well I have startling evidence that is going to blow you away it has blown me away this week but I have stumbled across some amazing information that is going to blow the lid off of all of these mass shootings is going to expose what you've been seeing in the gold and the silver markets it's going to expose what you saw even in the Bitcoin arena with that big hack attack that happened a while back with millions and millions of dollars being stolen you're gonna see all of that I have some amazing information that is going to literally blow you away. You will not be able to get any of this information anywhere else, I guarantee you. Not unless they walked in my shoes and know what I know. And I find that highly unlikely. There are not too many people that have done what I have done and been where I have been and worked for some of the top banks in the world financial institutions in the world insurance companies in the world and have done what I've done and have been able to talk to the people I've been able to talk to some of the brightest minds on the planet some of the most highest ranking government officials that never come and talk to the media <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna fill you in on a lot of stuff and I just want to end this video by telling you <coughs> excuse me all roads do lead to Rome and all you have to learn to do is follow the money every time a news story breaks you need to understand somebody is getting paid so why shouldn't it be you do yourself a favor and come over here to black ops hire me and put some money in your pocket and stop struggling in these markets bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered take what you can give nothing back do yourself a favor and fire yourself and hire me have a great weekend peace